Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. It's a rainy afternoon here in the UK. Why don't I have Spain? Um, but it, I wanted to talk some talk about something that's quite serious, actually. Um, it's been a busy week, actually. Mingle nearly has had the murder of the mother and daughter um but also there was a a belgian expat that has an alleged suicide um now the first thing i want to say here is philippines media is terrible um it's more speculation than fact um retractions and stuff rarely happen unless it's to do with politicians let's put it that way um so the reason I want to talk about it is I met the guy probably about three years ago. The guy's name's Andre. Um, he's involved in a car crash. Um, and somebody informed me yesterday that he'd actually phoned his partner. Um, they was going to commit suicide. And it appears that he shot himself with a pistol. Somebody also has mentioned that a dive shop business had gone sour. Don't know the facts about it, don't know it, if this was part of it, but it's very likely. Um, the reason I want to bring this up is a lot of people do kill themselves over bad ideas in the Philippines. Now, a bad idea doesn't mean it is a bad idea. It could be that it was with a bad person, bad business partner, or whatever. Um, the idea might have been right, but the bad bit comes from the fact is that the assumption that the business would have worked, etc., and t taking a risk that you're not prepared to lose everything. Um, like we, like they're saying with Spain about the property. You know, I was looking at that, uh, buying that apartment. I sat there and thought, well, it's going to lock me into work, so I'm not happy doing that. So I pulled out of it. Um, kept the money in the bank. When I've got all the money there, I'll buy it. But I don't want to get locked into working for the company I'm with. I don't like the company. Um, they have some very bad practices, etc. So I wouldn't commit to something that would lock me into something that could be potentially locking me into something um, that could stop me having the life I want. And this is the thing. I've seen people do it with businesses in the Philippines where or investments in other people's businesses where they invest on promises they're trusting somebody else with the financial know-how on how to run a business etc but uh, most of the time they don't take into account consequence consequence is always about loss consequence is actually sitting there going right if I invest this and I lose it all what happens and that's the bit a lot of people don't do. I always do that. Um, currently, I've got enough money for a year and a half in the bank. Um, I will not risk that money. That money is not for spending. It is the safety net. Which is why when I go to Spain, I'll be working on developing some businesses there. So that money increases. It doesn't come back down. Um but I've seen it so many times where people buy into things without any knowledge of the business. I'm not sure this has happened to Andre. Uh, I'm not says the information so scarce that I can't trust anything as fact. But the only fact is I do know I met the guy a few years ago. Nice enough guy. Uh, comes out of the mining industry. And something's obviously gone badly wrong somewhere. But... If anybody out there is thinking of going the same route, I'll be honest with you. There's always tomorrow. You can always find a way out of it. There's always a solution to every problem. Um, should never give up. Never. Um, you'll you can hit rock bottom and find your way back up. I am um, several expats I know. Um, I've helped in the past with work, etc., and got them back back on their feet. Um, there's always a way. Right, thanks for watching.